everyone, and welcome to day 20 of Lent, and thank you for taking a pause with us today. My name is Jessica, and I am the Early Childhood Coordinator here at Fox River Waukesha. I get the privilege of working with the tiniest treasures in our church. Speaking of treasures, today's theme is treasure, and our verse comes from Matthew 6, 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. When you hear the word treasure, does your brain go right to an image of a treasure chest filled with gold, jewels, and gems? Okay, well, mind it. That, however, is not the treasure Jesus was talking about. Although that treasure would be nice, that is a treasure of the world. Most of us spend our whole lives dreaming of acquiring treasures. But why do we do this? Because treasures are valuable, and because with them, we can make life better for us and the ones we love. Jesus said that your heart follows your treasures, so we need to make sure that we store up the right treasures. Each one of us can probably think of a few things we might consider treasures. As young children, our tre treasures might have been a special stuffed toy, an animal, a blanket. As adults, we continue to have treasures, but now they might be our bank accounts, a nice car, or a house. These treasures are earthly treasures, and they do not last forever. When we treasure the things of our world, our heart is far from the Lord. But when He becomes the greatest treasure of our lives, our heart will worship in grateful thanksgiving and praise. This is not always easy though, because everything in this world tries to tell us that we need to earn more money, that we need to get bigger and newer stuff, and that the more we work, the more treasure we'll earn. We want to be able to support our family, have a nice house, keep up with the newest technology, and maybe even drive a nice car. We all have things which may seem like treasures. It is such a temptation to focus on earthly treasures. Now, I'm not saying it's not okay to have nice things or go on trips and keep your family comfortable, but Jesus reminds us that these efforts should be at the cost, should not be at the cost of your spiritual life and your work for Him. What you accumulate here on earth will not matter in eternity. Matthew 6, 20 reminds us to store our treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Jesus said not to store up treasures on earth. Now, what does he mean about treasures in heaven? These treasures may be harder to measure. You can sense the times when you are doing exactly what he wants you to do when you are in the sweet spot of being in the center of His will and obeying Him, when you are pursuing righteousness and godliness, faith and love, perseverance and gentleness, humility of heart and joy in the Lord, that is when you are laying up treasures in heaven. As we go forward in this Lent season, focus your heart on Jesus. Make sure to take time to pause and listen, to seek His guidance and to serve Him with gladness. Remember, we brought nothing into this world and will take nothing out of it. When our heart is for the Lord, He becomes our greatest treasure, and that treasure is eternal. Thank you for taking a pause with us today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Lent season. Blessings.